Here's an SAT math trick that helped me score perfectly on the SAT math section. If you take a look at question 12, it says in the quadratic equation above, A is a non-zero constant. The graph of the equation in the XY plane is a parabola with vertex C, D. Which of the following is equal to D? So we need to solve for the Y coordinate of the vertex. Now in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at where my zeros are. Since I have X minus 2 as a factor, I know I'll have one zero at 2. And since I have X plus 4 as a factor, I'm going to have another zero at negative 4. Now I find the midpoint between those two. The midpoint between negative 4 and 2 will be at negative 1. So now that I know that negative 1 is going to equal my x coordinate of my vertex, what I do is I plug that into my equation up here. So now I'm going to have my y coordinate of my vertex is going to equal a times negative 1 minus 2 times negative 1 plus 4. Now negative 1 plus 4 we know will equal 3, so we'll have 3 times negative 1 minus 2, which will be negative 3. We know that that's going to equal negative 9, and that's all going to get multiplied by a, so my answer will be negative 9a.